Throughout history, ways of measuring how hot or cold something is have been developed by various scientists. Today, we use three different temperature scales to measure heat and cold. In 1714, Dutch scientist Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit invented the first mercury-in-glass thermometer. Previously, alcohol or water mixtures had been used. In 1724, Fahrenheit proposed a temperature scale. He set the freezing point of brine, a solution of salt in water, at zero and the boiling point of water, at sea level and under standard atmospheric pressure, at 212. On this scale, the freezing point of pure water is 32. So, on the Fahrenheit scale, there are 180 steps between water's freezing and boiling points. In 1742, Anders Celsius developed a new scale with zero at the boiling point and 100 at the freezing point of water. Yes, you heard right, zero at the boiling point and 100 at the freezing point. Celsius wanted to avoid negative numbers on his scale since Sweden's weather is mostly cold, especially in winter. In 1743, a reversal of this scale going from 0 to 100 was proposed by Jean-Pierre Christin. It was called centigrade, from the Latin centum for 100 and gradus for step. Now we know it as the Celsius scale. In 1848, William Thompson, also known as Lord Kelvin, developed a temperature scale based on absolute zero, theoretically the lowest possible temperature. On the Kelvin scale, pure water freezes at 273.15 Kelvin and boils at 373.15 Kelvin. Other scales were proposed in the past but never came into widespread use. Only a few countries still use Fahrenheit as their official scale. The United States, Belize, Palau, the Bahamas, and the Cayman Islands. Fahrenheit is still sometimes used in Canada, although Celsius is more common and is the official Canadian temperature scale. In the rest of the world, the Celsius scale is used. The Kelvin scale is used only for scientific calculations. In order to convert temperatures in one scale to another, these formulas are used. There's also a simple way and reasonably accurate way of converting Fahrenheit to Celsius without doing complicated calculations. For example, suppose we want to convert 90 Fahrenheit into Celsius. All we need to do is subtract 30 from 90 and halve the result to obtain 30 Celsius. The actual answer is 32.22 Celsius, only 2.2 degrees different. <laughs> 